Welcome everyone. Today finds me back in the kitchen where I am going to make pork chops in my air fryer. Welcome everyone. My name is Mark. This is the Average Meat Channel and today we're going to make pork chops in my air fryer. Let me start off by saying I'm not a chef. Half the time I don't even know what I'm doing. But usually it turns out pretty well. Today we're making pork chops. I'm starting with some pretty thin pork chops. I'm going to start by brushing them with just a little bit of oil. These are really thin pork chops, so I don't imagine that I'm going to be putting them in the fryer for very long. Now I'm using vegetable oil, but you could just as easily use olive oil or anything you like. It really doesn't take much. I do want just a little bit of browning and something to help the spices stick to the meat. Now what I'm going to use for seasoning is this product. It's a French fry seasoning and I get this at the dollar store and I use it for just about everything except French fries because it has a, a good mix of seasonings. As I look at this, it has salt, paprika, garlic, um, onion. So it has a lot of things that you would probably use to season your meats anyway. So it says, like I said, French fry seasoning. I use it for all kinds of meats. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on and then I'm going to rub it in to the meat just to make sure that it doesn't all fall off when I flip the meat over in the fryer. And I'm going to make sure I do this on both sides. So I'm going to turn this meat over and I'm going to put some oil and some spices on the other side as well. I'm also going to add just a little bit of pepper. There's not any pepper in the seasoning mix. Now these are really thin pork chops, so I think I'm only going to put them in for three or four minutes on each side, and then we'll see how they look. So I'm gonna set this to about 360, and I'll do it at three minutes, and we'll see what happens. And while that's cooking, it might be a good time to point out that I did take those pork chops out of the refrigerator. I let them set for 10 minutes or so just to lose a little bit of the chill. Why did I do that? I don't know. I've read a lot of recipes and they all suggest to do that. So I thought, why not give it a try? And then what I did is I rinsed them all. I patted them dry with paper toweling. That's when I added the oil and the spices. And once we take it out, I'm going to let those rest for about 10 minutes. This is after just three minutes and you can see they're getting to be a nice golden brown. So I think with pork chops this thin, um, three minutes aside is probably going to be plenty. So I'm going to flip these and you can see how, how very thin they are. So I flip, oh, does this smell good? And then I'll put them back in. Hi Sam, are you ready for the pork chops to be done? Abby's waiting too. I think they're ready. Let's take them out of the air fryer and set them aside and let them rest for about five to 10 minutes. Now I'm going to let those rest. So I'm going to put a little foil tent over the top. We'll let those rest for five to ten minutes. Generally speaking, you want to make sure that the internal temperature is 145 degrees. Since these chops are so small, I can just tell that they're cooked through. But the real test is the taste test. So good, so tender and tasty. The spices were just perfect and so easy to do. It only took me 12 minutes from start to finish. I give this one a thumbs up. And I hope you do too. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. Ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Mark, and this is the Average Me Channel.